What's up guys, I'm Dean and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd give you guys my review on James Gunn's latest movie, DC's newest movie, The Suicide Squad 2021. Uh, I'm going to be talking non-spoilers to begin with, then I'll move on to spoilers and I'll leave a nice big clear gap in the middle so you guys know when I'm moving on. And those of you who don't want to have spo don't want spoilers have enough time to get on out of here. Let's talk about it. I really, really loved this movie. I really don't like the first Suicide Squad movie. I talked about it on my podcast a few weeks ago, HD Movie Talk. Go check it out if you haven't already, please. Thank you very much. And and I think I dislike it more than most. It has a lot of issues, which I won't get into here. But every issue the original Suicide Squad has, everything it does badly, this movie does good. And everything that movie does good, this movie does better. A few standouts for me without going into spoilers. Number one, the action. It is incredibly gory. And I think that worked well for this movie because it was kind of outlandish and silly. But the gore really kind of grounded it in a way and really made you feel for the team. And you didn't know which team member was going to be next to bite the dust, which I really, really loved. The cinematography was outstanding and that really surprised me. The cinematography is perhaps the best in any superhero movie ever. It is definitely up there. There are so many interesting shots and camera angles and elements that James Gunn threw in there, which, which really kept me watching in interest. And it had a great score, and the team of characters were likeable while not being uh, glorified, I think. They were still villains, and they the movie didn't do too much of a job of making them heroes, but they still did the good thing, and they were likeable, and I think that's a good line that this movie... Uh, uh, T went across. Starro was of course amazing. It was it was silly, which is exactly what I wanted. I think it worked so well. And I'm not going to go into the team too much here because I don't want to give away who lives and who dies. But uh, the team worked so well together, and they all had an element which they brought, which was much needed. And it was so carefully planned out by James Gunn, similar to the Guns Galaxy team, that it that it just worked excellently. I'm now moving on to spoilers, so I'm going to give you five seconds to get out of here. Bye. Have uh, Thanks for watching. See, see you later, guys. So I thought I'd go through the main team members one by one and give you my thoughts on them all. Just, you know, to, to talk about this movie a bit more. Let's start with Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is amazing as Harley Quinn, and, and, and this is a very good performance from her once again. Her action scene was also incredible. The, the flowers were such a good idea. It was executed so well. Just Margot Robbie is incredible in the role, and, and she nailed it in this movie as well, and they didn't sexualise her too much, which I really appreciated. I also really loved the um, the scene with her briefly um, fiancé. They weren't fiancé for very long. But I think that was such a good insight into her character and it made me jump and it, it was really cool and it, it showed a likeable part of Harley while still making her a villain, if that makes sense. I, I really like that scene. Bloodsport was the main character of this movie, which I wasn't um, expecting, but Idris Elba did such a good job of, of becoming the hero of the movie in a way, um, despite I said they're not being heroes, but he does such a good job of slowly becoming a good person, I think. Or, no, I think he was always a good person, but but slowly letting it show as he does the right thing. I really loved his relationship with Ratcatcher 2, which I will talk about more in a minute. But but he, he was kind of like a um, grounding of the group, which kind of kept it all in real terms. I think he was the straight man in a lot of ways, and I think that worked really well for his character. And his powers looked cool as well. That suit where he just pulled off weapons was such a good idea, and it, it was just really, really cool. I did prefer him to Deadshot. Peacemaker, John Cena. I definitely have to see more of this character, which we are going to, which is a good thing, to give my more complete thoughts, because his moral code was definitely interesting. It wasn't explored enough for me to say where I stand on this character. Obviously, he's a bad bloke, and people are going to relate to him when they shouldn't and blah 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 it's just going to be like the joker and with barry jack horseman and all that stuff but that's besides the point to what we're talking about here i think john cena did a good job in the role the action was cool he he was very funny and i'm really excited to see the peacemaker tv show rat catcher 2 was a character who is who who might be the most essential to the team for me because she she is the likable one i think she she kind of is the the moral code and she's like a symbol of innocence for the team and she kind of is the one to pull 
to to pull Idris Elba to the light in some not Idris Elba Bloodsport to the light in some ways, and I think that worked really well for her character. And also that scene with Taika Waititi at the end of the movie was just perfect. That line, that line was just incredible. Shall I do an impression? Probably not. Reds are the most lowly and despised creatures of all, sweetheart. If they have a purpose, so do we all. I'm sorry. I won't do a, a, I won't do impressions again. Is that offensive? I, I hope not. I apologise. But Ratcatcher 2, great. I don't really have many thoughts on other team members. King Shark was, of course, incredibly cute and powerful and, and scary and cute. And I just want to give him a big hug and stay away because I don't want to be eaten. But I, I really like the scene in the aquarium. And he had some really good shots as well of him just being a big old cutie. I fell for it once again. It's just James Gunn making Groot all over again. Uh, Polka Dot Man was really good as well. I think he was funny. Um, and I liked the element we had with his mum. I think that created some really interesting moments. Especially I really like that one shot in the bar when he's dancing. I think that worked incredibly. And it was a great performance. One of the stronger performances in the movie as well. Let's talk about the opening scene. It, w it was incredible. It was gory and disgusting and perfect. And it summed up the rest of the movie. And it set a tone so incredible f for the rest of the movie for us all just to know well to to not know what to expect i think it did a better job at so overall this is probably my favorite dceu movie i think it's a lot of fun i think it it, it has a lot of heart to it i think it's funny and i think all the characters are done very well uh yeah so overall i gave it four and a half stars and I definitely recommend it. it. It was really fun. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.